let's do Tabby Pen. Your FY2 in a &E, Amanda is the mother of a three-year-old child has come to you because the child was brought to the hospital because of anaphylaxis for the second time. Talk to the mother and address the concern. Sometime you will see uh, this station is coming as a teaching station that the mother doesn't know how to use the EpiPen. Go and teach her. I think you can do that. That's not a problem. Another thing, sometimes it's coming as a combined station as well. So you take a bit of history about anaphylaxis, which symptom the child had, which symptom the child is having now. And you can ask about other anaphylaxis symptoms as well. So these are the symptoms of anaphylaxis, signs of anaphylaxis, difficulty in noisy breathing, swelling of the throat and mouth, difficulty swallowing or talking, wheezing or persistent cough, loss of consciousness, collapse, pale, floppy child, feeling lightheaded, faint, confused, tachycardia, confusion, anxiety, cyanosis. So these are the symptoms, sign you can ask. Also ask, how is your child now? The child is fine at the moment or not. And do not forget to ask, what is the allergen? What is the allergen? So if she or she is allergic to what? So in the end, you can mention that in the management as well. That's the main thing, right? So EpiPen, this is your EpiPen. Uh, you can have an original pen, but mainly you will see they will be giving you a EpiPen trainer. If they have given EpiPen trainer, you can demonstrate it. If they have given original, please do not demonstrate it. Yeah, but mostly they have got lots of EpiPens in the cubicle, which are trainers. How it is explained, you don't need to worry about anything because the explanation is written on this. If you return, if you just check this, uh, EpiPen, what is written on this, that is enough. So you can read it and explain it to the mother and it's easy. It's the easiest station to pass. Uh, easy to read instructions? Yes, easy to read instruction. Let's read the instruction. It says, pull off the blue safety cap. So this is the blue safety cap. So pull the blue safety cap. Hold the orange tip. This is the orange tip. Hold the orange tip approximately 10 centimeter from the outer thigh and jab firmly into the outer thigh. Listen for click. Hold firmly against the thigh for three seconds. Dial triple line, ask for ambulance and state in anaphylaxis. That's it. That's it. And that is what you need to explain. Yeah. If it is original EpiPen, it will say EpiPen Adrenaline Auto Injector. This is original. If it is trainer, it will be written here EpiPen Trainer. So you can easily find it out. Right. Okay, so easy to read it. It's the elliptical shape. The shape of this EpiPen is elliptical, so you can easily hold it in your hand when you have to inject it. Yeah, you never see the needle. The thing is, this is one time use only. It is one time use only. And you know, when you uh, use it, this orange thing, now you can just see this much orange. But when you inject it, you will see this orange uh, lid is going to be coming out. So it's going to increase it in size and it is going to cover the needle. So that's why you will never see the needle. Why it is like that? It's for the safety mechanism. Yeah. Uh, you always carry two EpiPen. Why? I'll tell you. Now, before you use any medication, you need to check uh, expiry date. So please check the expiry date. You need to check another thing as well. You need to check the clear window. This is your clear window, this white color. In the real EpiPen, you will see this is actually transparent. If it is transparent, good to use. But if it has changed its color, if it has become pink, brown, cloudy, or contains any solid particles, it means the medication has decayed. And please don't use it, even if it is not expired. So before you use it, what you do, you do check two things, expiry date, and check for this clear window as well. And then if they have given you the EpiPen trainer, what you're going to do, you will demonstrate it once, right? So you pull off the blue safety cap and you can jab it on your, on your eyes as well. Just show them a uh, demo, right? If it is EpiPen trainer. And most probably they will be giving you EpiPen trainer only. Then you dial triple line, ask for ambulance and state the word anaphylaxis. When you say anaphylaxis, they know it's an emergency. What are they going to do? They will be sending the help as soon as possible. Obviously, when you call the ambulance, ambulance will take some time to come, isn't it? So what you're going to do is, uh, meanwhile, what you should do, you should relax. You should not move here and there. Just relax. Lie down. If you're having shortness of breath, heads up. Nausea vomiting, left lateral position. Just relax. Yeah. 
Now, if your symptoms are not improving and it's been five minutes, what you can do? You can use a second EpiPen. That's why we always say you carry two EpiPens with you. So if the symptoms are not improving, you can use a second EpiPen as well. And then what you do with these EpiPen, you can give it to the ambulance staff, you can give it to the pharmacist, or you can give it to the hospital doctors as well, and they will be replacing it with a new one. If your child is going to the school, usually they get four EpiPen, two for the school as well. That's how it is. Yeah. So remember, note down the time when the EpiPen was used. If there is no response within five minutes, use the second EpiPen, right? Always carry two EpiPens with you. Discard the pen to the pharmacy, ambulance, or to the hospital staff. If you're not sure that they are having anaphylaxis symptoms, then you can still take the EpiPen and follow the same procedure. I mean, if you're in doubt, is it allergy or anaphylaxis? Should I give EpiPen or not? Give it. Give it. Give it. Note the time for the adrenaline auto injector was given. And lie the patient flat, and leg raised. If vomiting, lie on the side. If breathing difficulty, allow to sit. Do not allow to stand or walk. Right? Anaphylaxis. Call the parents or emergency contact. That's the thing. If no improvement or there is deterioration in condition, give second EpiPen after five minutes. Command CPR if there are no signs of life. If wheezy asthmatic, give inhalers via spacer if available. You don't need to go into too much of detailing of it. Main thing is you need to explain this part of it. Yeah. They'll have some questions for you. Number one question. Doctor, if my kid is wearing a trouser, should I give on the trouser? Should I take off the trouser? Give it on the trouser. That's absolutely okay. Doctor, I have given one EpiPen on one of the leg. Where I should give the another one? Should I give it on the same leg or the different leg? It doesn't matter. Okay. And in the end, don't forget to tell the patient that you work on that allergen as well. Sometimes they say, my, my kid is allergic to peanuts. So tell the patient, the mother, that keep your child away from peanuts. Keep checking the things like, for example, any cookies or any cakes if you're buying. Just check it. Just check it if, if we have got any peanuts. And keep your child away from peanuts nuts right so that's the thing that you need to do it's the easiest one and if it is a trainer as i said inject it you can show on your leg as well that's fine it's not going to have a needle don't worry but if it is original obviously you don't try right so that's what we have got in epipen anaphylaxis all right mm -hmm.